Hello, minions. Welcome to another Wheezy's Weekly Wrap-Up. We're going to talk about what you missed on the channel this past week. And since last week I talked about the upcoming Battlefield 2042 beta, this week I'm going to talk about the in-progress Call of Duty Vanguard beta, my thoughts from the PlayStation portion of it, and what I'm expecting going forward. I'm a little grumpy. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so real briefly, let's go through what was on the channel this last week. Uh, the first video that I posted was uh, me playing one match of Call of Duty uh, World War II and one match of Call of Duty Modern Warfare because Sledgehammer made World War II and it's built, the new Vanguard is built on the Modern Warfare engine. So I kind of like played those back to back to see how they kind of might mash up. And uh, I actually ended up getting into a match on World War II that I didn't even know existed, which was like uh, zombies, but also like hardpoint. I think they called it hordepoint. It's actually quite interesting, but here's a clip from that video. So you fight enemies and zombies. That's, that's, this, what a cool, what a cool game mode. So fun. So yeah, we'll see what Sledgehammer does with the game modes and the support. But let's just say they've got a good engine to work with. I fuck it. Have I mentioned that I don't like Hardpoint? <laughs> Hardpoint is always... Good God! Tryhards versus randos. I'm always with all the randos. And then all the tryhards get on one team. And they all know the rotations and they all use compatible equipment like it's the way to play but I hate it because I never have that squad if I had a team that I ran with on the regular that like that knows the rotations and is instantly on the point when it rotates I'd probably really enjoy hardpoint but I don't so I don't all right so after that I uh, posted a video where I played Predator Hunting Grounds because it was added to PlayStation Plus as one of the free games this month. Um, if you have PlayStation Plus and you haven't picked it up, I recommend you go do it. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, but I put a couple of those matches together and uh, I thought it was a good time. So here's a clip from that. Oh shit, that sounds close. I guess I probably shouldn't abandon my teammate here. Oh, fuck. Now I'm alone. Somebody. No, God! Help! Where are you fucking guys? Why did you leave us? Well, that's just bad fucking teamwork by a retard. I mean, you just ditch us while we're being fucking murdered? The hell? Are they... Yeah, just waiting to be executed. Fantastic. Do a cinematic execution, you've won. Because this guy's fucking stupid. Great. Great. Okay, got another one. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm already a big Alien and Predator fan, so that game was already right up my alley. I'm kind of sad that I missed it in its prime. Uh, but anyway, after that, the PlayStation exclusive early access Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer beta was alive this past weekend, and uh, I posted a video of my first match 
really my first three matches um, with kind of my live impressions of, uh, of of the beta, getting into it for the first time, and uh, just say I wasn't exactly pleased. So here is a clip from that video. What is? Why is this a place? Why does that exist? Let me let me over. I'll take that. Jesus Christ, man. Get the f All right, fine. I'm going to stop cuz I'm not following your fucking ass here. Who's that? All right. What the what? I was like, oh, I see those footsteps, but there's no way that guy literally ran behind me without me hearing him. But that's exactly what happened. All right, that's... Nope, this is broken. This is not an issue or a tweak. Enemy footsteps are inaudible completely, and that's not okay. <clears throat> Drop shotting still a thing. Good to see that horse shit. Uh, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, so the engine is still Modern Warfare, but I'm getting some I'm getting some Cold War vibes. So let's transition right into talking about the Vanguard beta. Um, obviously, there are links for the stuff that I talked about in the description below. But I will say, after I got a really good impression from the Alpha... I have been left extremely soured by the beta. That said, the beta isn't technically over. That was the PlayStation Early Access beta this past weekend. It just ended this morning as I'm recording this. And so it will kick back on later this week for, I think, pre-order early access or something like that. And then after that, it's like open public beta or something. So we'll see if they actually put some fixes in. But let's talk about why I don't like Call of Duty Vanguard in the beta. Um, it's built on the Modern Warfare engine, which of course I love. Um, Modern Warfare, an amazing game. So what is wrong with this beta? First, there's some technical issues. The main one I'm hoping is a technical issue, not a design decision, is the game audio. I'm just going to say the game audio is broken. Like, the, the, the overall ambient audio isn't very audible. <laughs> the game is very quiet. Um, the gunshots when you're being shot at or there's enemies around you are hard to hear sometimes you'll literally just kind of drop dead and you'll just barely barely hear a like versus like modern warfare when the audio was fantastic like your guns felt significant the enemy shot at you like you could hear bullets whipping around you it felt very immersive this feels broken it feels like it's in the modern warfare engine so it shouldn't be broken but it is and enemy footsteps are inaudible for the most part. I will say there was a couple of times when I barely heard enemy footsteps. And I think what it might be is it seems like maybe they tied the enemy footstep sounds exclusively to the surface they're walking on instead of the actual player. And so, like, there was one one time I was sitting in, like, the snowy map and, like, someone was coming around a corner and I heard a couple of footsteps. I was like, oh, that's an enemy. Friendly footsteps, you, you can hear them all the time, all around you, like you would expect but enemies are like all ninjas all the time you can't hear a single footstep from them i literally you see it in that video if you go and watch i literally had a guy on the enemy team sprint sprinting behind me one foot behind me and i couldn't hear it i like even you know call of duty's been for a while kind of a sound whoring game but even in that context like other shooters the sound is more important than that. Like, you need to be able to hear when someone's near you. Like, basically, enemies are just kind of like ninjas flying around you that you can't hear. And your teammates are clomping around and you can hear them all over the place. It's really weird and it's irritating and it feels broken. Especially, moving into my next point, because it's compounded by bad map design. And yeah, they're going to launch with whatever, 16, 20 maps. And so there's only like three in the beta. So, okay. But... The three that they picked, presumably, they did because they thought it was representative or some of their better maps, I would hope. But they're trash in that they don't have a lot of um, 
normal routes like you would expect in a well-designed map. Um, and they're just, there's a, too many random directions you can get shot from. It feels very much like Favela in Modern Warfare 2, where it was just kind of like chaotic and random. It made it really hard to play tactically, because no matter where you are, you could potentially get shot from six different locations. It's hard to be tactical, especially when you can't even hear players. You can't even tell where they are around you. And then just you're visible from every direction and you're just getting killed. Um, so that's the next big thing. And then the other thing, this is a more minor thing, but it's also kind of like a, what were they thinking? When people get killed, whether it's you or the enemy, the player, their, their operator or whatever, their character will say a line, like a quip after they die. <laughs> like you'll, you'll kill an enemy and they'll fall over dead. And then if it's like a female character, she'll go, oh, I can't take this fire anymore. Like after they're dead, they're talking. And you can hear that. So it's kind of distracting. Like I just killed you and yet you're calling out or something. It's weird. And your character will kind of do that too. And they also have a lot of audio cues for like, if you're using a perk, like high alert, I think it's called, um, where if someone outside of your vision sees you, your screen lights up, your guy will actually say out loud, I think I could feel someone's eyes on me. I think someone's looking at me. It's just like, I don't need all this extra audio. I need to hear enemy footsteps. So without diving too much into it, because there's still more beta, so I'll probably do a full video with gameplay and stuff on that, but I just wanted to address it as part of my weekly wrap up. If you guys are PlayStation and you've played it at all, or you've watched the videos, what do you think? What are your kind of early impressions? I gotta tell you, it's not making me optimistic. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, got to catch up on what we missed during the week. Let me know what you think about the uh, beta so far down below, and I'll see you guys next time.